All right, welcome everyone uh, to this high elo noobs game. High elo noobs, where we give high elo players the low elo treatment. Oh, you know, it's time that the noob strike back. All right, so in the red we have Kelts AOE Builds .com. So I'm just gonna call him Kelts this game because that's what he chose to name himself. And in the blue we have Say My Name, and unfortunately I cannot say his name because. His name is not his name, his name is Samite. But it's whatever, I digress. And so far both players are off to a good start. I see Red has found like six of his sheep already. Actually, I think he's, he's found all his sheep using his sheep to scout the base. Very pro. I commend. Uh, oh, Blue so far has not been able to find his last two sheep over there. And if he would scout his base a little better without leaving this big gaping hole in the center, We'll quickly find his resources. So we have a, a mirror match here, Celts versus Celts. And I'm going to guess that Celts underscore Celts AOE Bills .com is the one who picked Celts, and Blue is the one who decided to do the mirror match. It's gonna be an interesting game. Um, I'm gonna guess we're not gonna go into Imperial Age and see um, any of those famous. Kelt onagers, which is uh, gonna be very unfortunate. Ooh, Red was housed there. He was housed for like, I think that was like one second. But if you ask me, that's one second too much. And uh, no, I was like, you looking at blue. You see, so it's not only the high elo players who are noobs. Like I'm also a noob because I'm here denigrating red, but I was really supposed to be denigrating say my name in blue. But that's fine. As far as I'm concerned, everybody's a noob. Oh, and looks like red is going to scout blue's base. What is oh, all oh, those girls have loom already? It's like twelve minutes in the game. It's like three minutes in the game, and uh, bills already have loom. Oh, we oh, you see that, guys? That's why you scout your base better because um, you're gonna get lamed. And my policy is laming is lame. Don't lame kids. Okay. Oh my god, is he gonna is he gonna steal the Oh he's gonna get caught by uh say my name. Yeah, so so far he's just gonna hide those sheep. Well cows. And he no, he's gonna he's not gonna lose the he's not gonna lose the scout. He's not he's not a bad player. We don't have to worry about him. Alright, we see a ball all coming in from blue. A bit early here, because that sheep is not going to be dead by the time he kills his ball. Listen, you don't want to be wasting your res like this, okay? I mean... It happens to me all the time, but... I don't have a... I have an excuse. I'm, I'm not a high low player. I'm just, I'm just a pleb in this game. And this is a much better ball law from Kelts. Like, Kelts is really... Like, stealing this game right now, he's using the enemy sheep to just go and explore the map. I mean, he could just take the rest for himself, but I guess he just wants... He, he wants three scouts. He wants his original scout, and he wants two extra scouts here at the edge of the map. And it looks like we are gonna see a men-at-arms rush. Listen, so far, the performance by Say My Name... Okay, fine, Moors Knight. I'll say Huang. Okay, so Red is Huang. We're gonna call him Huang from now on. But listen. Listen, right? If he wanted to be known as Huang, he should have named himself Huang. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, that's a high low noob mistake there, right? One time. I'm Evil Guan Franco, for instance. So on my Twitch stream, it's called Guan Franco, even though I want you to call me Evil Guan Franco. And that's not confusing at all. It's, it's the same principle that applies here. And yeah, so we're seeing two militia out. I mean, you really want to go with three, and he's got a third one there. He's not wasting any time. And now, say my name is trying to go here for the the, the wall, uh, but as we know, Arabia has recently been nerfed in terms of its walling. So if you're trying to wall, gonna have a bad time. And say my name is about to have a very bad time because these militia are gonna come in. They are going to kill... Oh, he's killing the deer. I mean, okay. I, I don't think he was going to lower the deer anyway, but alright. If you 
up to you. And because you did not have the third militia there, you're not gonna get the kill on the Oh! Oh! The counter attack! Okay, I bet I bet we didn't see this coming, did we? Okay, well oh Huang has a reputation. So Blue already know that Blue already know he had to go with militia against militia. But it looks like Blue is gonna lose this fight. Did he lose like almost no HP there? Jesus, man, those Celts militia though. Do they have a bonus? I, I haven't played much Celts. The infantry move faster, but I don't know how three of his infantry just like did so much work on blue. Alright, so Huang is doing his best to annoy Say My Name as best as possible. Say My Name is nutty, so he's not giving up. He's thinking to himself, listen, I'm on high elo noob. Alright, I haven't climbed all the way up the ladder of this game just to lose to Huang in the first 10 minutes. No, so he's gonna persevere. He's not gonna do like me. Any Listen, if you come in my base with 3 militia and it's 10 minutes in the game, I'm like, I'm done. But not these guys. I mean, we gotta come in, it's for it. Both players are going for an extended dark age here. 26 uh, villies each. And for anybody watching at home, as you know, the Sarah build says that you go up at 22 builds. So these two are not following the Cicero builds. Okay, and as I always say in the series, the Cicero builds are the. Oh, this is a messy fight here, yeah. So. Huang can't win this fight, but he is idling a lot of builds. Oh, and he is gonna win this fight after all. Yeah, so Nuvis, um, please do not go Men at Arms Rush against me because I will insta quit. Like at my elo, and I will not disclose what my elo is, I have yet to play against a, a Men at Arms Rush, and that's a blessing. Okay, so I'm looking at the score. It looks like uh, Huang has the, the strongest score. Uh, because he's killed so many units and his eco should be doing a little bit better than say my name and Huang is content now I see free builds by this berry but I see Huang wasting time attacking a barracks and now he will lose yeah like what were you doing go attack the the, the, the villies by the berries I know you had the vision of it Huang but we'll We'll forgive him because he's been playing so good this game. We'll forgive him that one high noob mistake. Okay, back at Huang base. Uh, he's getting up to feudal before say my name. So he's gonna have a big lead here. Oh, when I think uh, I think say my name may have overcommitted here. Who has two barracks? Yeah, so say my name uh, has two barracks. I think he's overcommitting a bit to this fight, and he's now fighting on the hill. Remember, never fight on the hill, my friends. But let's be fair. Microing while trying to get out of the dark age is not uh, the best thing you want to be doing. And this looks like a very interesting fight. Huang bringing out more militia. I think he's gonna win it over say my name. It looks like three militia versus seven now. And Huang wins the fight, and he's also going up to Feudal Age way before Say My Name is able to. Say My Name constructing a third barracks. Uh, I guess we're gonna. I guess this. Yeah, so I said at the start, this game is not going to Imperial Age. And it looks like we're just gonna see a Dark Age slash Feudal Age uh, brawl. Oh man, this is so funny. Look at look at all these little look at all these little men go with their little clubs. Ooh, and the the man at arms coming out for Huang. Yeah, this is this is uh Say my name is not in a good spot right now. He can fight this. He has three barracks out, he's not going to feudal age. And I think he has like uh let me look at his eco here for a sec. Look at his I had it right there. Let me look at Say my name's eco. Seven on gold, twenty on food, nine on wood. And he is not yet able to go up to the next age because he only has 200 food. Targeted. And it looks like Huang is content to chase in Blue's Say My Names 
Militia out of the base and aware to chase when he could be going back to the base and taking off these berry bills, taking off these wood bills in the back, maybe going for the gold, but Fang is just content with chasing down these militias at the edges of the earth. I guys I'm confused here. I don't know uh Listen, I'm not a high elo player. I'm just a pleb, so I can't think of these 400 IQ strats. Maybe maybe they know something here that I don't know. But um, we could completely ignore that fight because it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Looking at Wang's eco now. Wang is going after Castle Age. And say my name is only 16% of the way to feudal. Yeah, Moss Knight, I really do think that say my name went a little too heavy on the gold. He has just as much as Huang does, uh, but Huang was had a better job of getting his eco rolling. But Huang is content with just chasing him around the world. Okay, so I think what's going on is the uh, red Huang doesn't want these militias to double over and go for his builds, so he is just going to try to chase them until they fight, just in case they try to attack his base because now he can go out with more okay there's a single palisade wall here i'm just gonna look at this here okay all right yeah huang just wants to huang he just listen he's ahead in the game you know say my name is being the high elo noob here so huang says you know what i'm just gonna style out this game he's just styling out here both players are now using their their initial militia as uh secondary scout units because all they're doing right now is scouting the map and even though a cat's under militia supposed to be 15% faster, they don't seem to be catching up. Okay, so there's this weird tower coming up here by say my name right next to the siege workshop. But it will get killed by the batting ram unless Quang pulls it out and the villies kill it. Okay, a curious house coming forward. Oh, and Huang chased these militia so long that they were able to actually train on the road and turn into... Oh, you know, okay, so I'm reading on the chat that I made a low elo mistake. They're both Celts, so obviously they both move at the same movement speed. Yeah. So, okay, so who's the real noob here in this game? Is it, is it these two or is it me? Yeah, so it's five barracks. Okay. I got it. There are five barracks out here. Or say my name. I think he may have overcommitted uh, uh, just a bit too much. Just a, just a tiny bit. But um, it happens to the best of us. Say my name. I don't even. I don't even blame you, bud. I understand. You know, it, it's all about love here in High Elo Noobs. Because we're, we're all noobs on the inside. You get housed, I get housed, Noobus gets housed. Moors knights get housed. And Huang is making quick work of these barracks. And now he's making a move for the TC. And this TC will go down. Let me remove the Falco Ball because there's absolutely nothing going on in Huang's base. So I don't even need to look over there. Oh, and these, these Vils and these men at arms are gonna lose so badly to these four knights. I mean, Huang, man, this this guy, he really puts on a show. He puts on, he puts on all the stuffs. Like, there are like five different units in this guy's base. He, oh, he called the GG. Call the GG. Yeah, I don't blame you. And when I make my low elo mistakes like that, I, I call the GG as well. 22 minutes. I'm calling games like 15 minutes. I don't care, man. You put three militias in my base, I'm, I'm out. 